Okay. First question I have for you, Carol. Uh, you've been on staff with the store for 20 years. What does that mean to you? Well, actually, I've been on staff for 26 years. And when I first got on board with Storm, I sat down at the Hilton, the Reno Hilton, after the uh, Merit Mixed Doubles and talked with Bill and Barbara Crispin. And I talked to them just like regular people and stuff like that, and uh, they put me on staff. And since then, I've gotten to watch them grow, watch bowling grow. Um, like, this is the first time I've been back to the factory in years, and things just continue to grow, and the warehouses grow, more people, they have so many people working here. And when they first started out, they would come to our uh, LPBT tour stops, and it would be just Bill and Barb, you know, trying to get us to throw the bowling balls and stuff like that. So it's really uh, fulfilling to get to see all of their success. What uh, is your favorite moment in your bowling career? You know, um, for me to get to have bowled one year on tour, much less to be sitting here right now today talking to you, um, it's really hard to say. I mean, I got to um, bowl with the greatest pro bowlers in the world that I would watch on TV male and female. Um, I shot the back-to-back -back 300s. I don't take drugs, but let me tell you what, that was a drug. 26 in a row, 10 pin, four in a row, 10 pin off the sheet. And I, I mean, I just felt like I was floating. And so I have to say that would be one major moment. And then when I won the US Open in 1987, um, I won $48,000 in one day, and that was probably more than I made in almost two years <laughs> bowling on tour. So it was live ESPN. My mom and my sister were in the audience. And it was very much a defining moment. And um, in fact, I had almost decided that I was done with bowling and I wasn't going to do it anymore. And that pretty much saved my career. And as a result, I bowled another 13, 14 years on tour. What is your all-time favorite storm bowling? Oh, we were just talking. I just walked through that little thing in the front foyer. Oh my God, I was, just kept noticing. The first one with the storm, it was the forest fire. I threw that ball, I loved that ball. Uh, the X Factor, that was a, a magnificent ball for me. I loved that ball. The Trauma, that was another one. That was a great ball that, that I used. Um, there's so many of them, I, I can't hardly tell you, but uh, those would be my all-time favorites. You operate one of the best pro shops in the country. Thank you. I had help. What do you like best about your work in the pro shop? People. Helping people to learn to love bowling and have the passion for bowling that we had. Um, the beauty of getting to bowling on tour is we got blessed to be around some of the greatest minds, but also the greatest hearts. And to be able to give that back just to anyone that wants it and walks in that door, that's the best part of it. It's a lot of hard work. It's not something you're gonna get rich doing but the enrichment that you get for your life, it's, it's so worth it, and I love it. You also, same as Donna, dedicate a lot of your time in helping youth bowlers. Why is that so important to you? Because on the inside, I may look 62, but I'm only 12. And, when, and when I got to enjoy all that for all my life. I started bowling at age 10, and uh, it was such an experience and a blast for me. I traveled all over the country, got to do all kinds of fun things. Everybody should do it. And these kids come in there, their bodies are able to do the things that we ask of them. They get their education paid for, um, and they get to enjoy a life that they might not other, otherwise get to. So um, I, those kids keep us young at heart, and they keep us motivated to keep giving back. Last question for you. What is one thing you'd like to see happen in the bowling industry? Um, more money, but that comes, we, we gotta keep our industry working better together. And um, that's something that's gonna take time. And we just gotta keep working together. We have to get more outside sponsorship. These ball manufacturers for years have kept us going. Storm, uh, like I said, Bill and Barbie Christman, they would come to our stops and they have sponsored our tour for so many years, and many of the other companies as well. 
And so it would be just nice to get a lot more outside sponsorship to come in and put some of that big money up there like they do for you know basketball, football, baseball, because we all know inside bowling how great it is. And uh, that's what we keep doing is we keep putting it out there and uh, get people to understand how great it is. And somebody somewhere is gonna have to figure it out. I do believe that.